Students, today we are discussing respiration in plants. When the word respiration comes, obviously we feel taking in oxygen and giving out carbon dioxide. Of course, that is the process, but we will try to understand why it is happening and why plants and all the animals need to do it. Respiration is a common occurrence, a common physiological process in all the living beings including all the animals and all the plants with the exception of some which are anaerobes. When it comes to respiration in plants, we have also heard and discussed sometimes or the other the process of photosynthesis which is when we plants take carbon dioxide and give out oxygen. In respiration plants take oxygen and give out carbon dioxide exactly the way we do it. In respiration, there is one process called breathing. Breathing is simple exchange of gases, taking in oxygen, giving out carbon dioxide. Now we have to understand why it is happening, why we need to take oxygen, why plants need to take oxygen. Is that the purpose of respiration? Are we respiring or plants are respiring for the purpose of getting oxygen? Perhaps answer is more complicated than the question. The question seems to be very simple. The answer is that breathing is going on to take oxygen, but not for the sake of taking oxygen. It is happening to produce energy. Energy is produced by oxidation of macromolecules and for that oxidation we require oxygen. So, oxygen is eventually required for breaking down of macromolecules for the production of energy. This is what we are going to understand in this particular session. So, energy need is important for every living organism, plant or the animal. Now, that energy has to come from somewhere. We eat food and we get energy, but that food is to be burnt in the presence of oxygen which we breathe in. Now plants, they are not eating food, they are rather synthesizing food. Even if they are synthesizing food through photosynthesis, that food will not give energy directly. It will give only when it is burnt or broken down to simpler substances in the presence of oxygen, in other words when it is oxidized, for that plant needs oxygen. So, process of breathing eventually leads to production of energy or release of energy. Students you know photosynthesis takes place in leaves, because leaves have the machinery for photosynthesis. Respiration takes place in almost all the cells which are in connection with the environment. We now discuss about energy. Energy is important for plant and oxidation of macromolecule is taking place. That means breaking down of CC bonds for the production of energy in the form of ATP is the respiration. Green plants do photosynthesis in the presence of sunlight using carbon dioxide and water and in turn give out energy and oxygen. Now, during daytime, this oxygen is easily available to plant within the leaf. It is produced within the leaf because photosynthesis is taking place within the leaf. So, availability of oxygen is not a problem when sun is there or when daylight is there or when photosynthesis is taking place. Green plants and cyanobacteria, these two categories have chlorophyll, chloroplast, hence they can produce or synthesize their own food in the presence of sunlight with the help of chlorophyll. That means, these two categories are 
autotrophs auto self troughs food producing food themselves so green plants and cyanobacteria are able to synthesize their food themselves whereas all other organisms depend on plants for their food directly or indirectly as we have discussed food the source of food in cyanobacteria and in green plants is photosynthesis children you can very well appreciate at this point the value of photosynthesis and value of plants for our livelihood in this case that means in case of photosynthesis the light energy is converted to chemical energy how light energy is sunlight with the help of water and carbon dioxide it is converted to atp or the energy which is chemical form of energy now this energy is stored in plant in the form of glucose sucrose starch and is acted upon by oxygen of breathing to be converted to atp children please try to understand one point separately and that is the food which is formed by photosynthesis is not giving energy to the plant only when oxygen acts on it it is converted to chemical form of energy that also not in one go in small steps step by step so that energy is stored in the form of atp which is chemical energy and it remains stored there till it is required by plant to be utilized even in your case the energy is stored in the form of atp and is used if and when required by your body if storage was not possible in that case the moment we eat food energy is consumed energy is given to body and body consumes it the moment photosynthesis is done energy comes to plant and it is exhausted that should not happen and that is why the energy is converted to chemical form of energy which is called atp adenosine triphosphate and remains there and is released when required you can see in the slide the photosynthesis this is leaf having chlorophyll this is sunlight is coming from sun of course water is absorbed by roots and reaching the leaf then carbon dioxide which we are giving out and end result is oxygen and the starch oxygen comes to atmosphere which we require for our respiration and starch is stored in the plant to be converted to atp in the presence of oxygen we are now discussing a few points regarding photosynthesis we know it takes place in green trees green plants in the leaves mainly in the leaves because leaves have chloroplast and inside the chloroplast there is a green pigment called chlorophyll and this chlorophyll does the trapping of sunlight trapping of sunlight is important because unless sunlight is trapped photosynthesis cannot occur at this point we should also appreciate that sun is the eventual source of energy on earth of course it is trapped by the trees and that is why trees are also important in the green parts of the plant the food is synthesized but in the tree or in the plant there are some non green parts also so this food is translocated to different parts of the plant and plant has machinery for this plants or trees they are autotrophic they are synthesizing their own food whereas all the animals are either heterotrophic or they fall in some other categories which we are going to discuss if heterotrophic then again there are two categories herbivores and carnivores herbivores which depend on plant food and carnivores which are eating 
herbivores. But whatever the case may be, whether animal is herbivore or carnivore, eventually it is depending on the plant. Because herbivore is eating plant and carnivore is eating herbivore which has eaten plant. So, if you see food chain, even carnivore is dependent on the plants. Then there are fungi which feed on dead organic matter and they are called saprophytes. Coming back to respiration, we were trying to understand a part of photosynthesis, chloroplast, etc., to understand respiration in a nice way. We have understood that eventual source of energy is photosynthesis. Now, cellular respiration takes place in the cell. The result is breakdown of food material. Let me elaborate this point. In photosynthesis, the food was synthesized within the leaf. It was in the leaf cell. Now, inside the cell, food is there, but it will not give energy unless oxygen is available through breathing or respiration. That oxygen will break this food in the leaf and out comes the ATP. That is a form of energy. So, it happened because breaking of macromolecule took place and the result was production of energy which was produced in the form of heat also. So, synthesis of ATP is the final aim of respiration. Photosynthesis takes place in chloroplast, which we have already discussed. And breakdown of complex molecules takes place inside the cell cytoplasm to yield energy, which is happening in cytoplasm and in the mitochondria. So, children, please try to understand that photosynthesis took place in chloroplast. The food was stored in the cell and breaking down of macromolecule in the presence of oxygen took place in the cytoplasm and that also in a organelle called mitochondria. And that is why mitochondria is called powerhouse of the cell because energy is finally produced at this point. Release of energy in this fashion is in fact respiration. I am sure children, you have now understood that why respiration is taking place and what is its aim. The aim of respiration is not make available oxygen to you only or to the plant. The aim of respiration is to make oxygen available for the production of energy, for the production of ATP. Only when ATP is produced, the aim of respiration is fulfilled. But respiratory substrate has to be there. What do I mean by substrate? Substrate is the base on which action takes place. In this context of respiration, respiratory substrate will be the food on which oxygen is acting to produce energy. So, respiratory substrate should be present so that energy can be produced. So, the respiratory substrates Usually, carbohydrates are the respiratory substrate because C-C bond is to be broken by oxygen. So, normally in plants, carbohydrates act as respiratory substrate for the production of energy, but sometimes under certain circumstances, proteins, fats and organic acids can also be used as respiratory substrates. Energy released in series of slow steps. What do I mean by this? Some substrate is acted upon by oxygen, some energy is produced. Again, some more substrate is acted upon by oxygen, some more energy is produced. That means energy is not produced in one go. That is important. It should not be produced in one go and it cannot be. Otherwise, a living body cannot remain living. And it is after that also stored as ATP, the chemical form of energy. Again, ATP remains stored and is utilized only when required and that is the reason why we call ATP as energy currency of the cell. Currency means you have currency in your pocket, you will take out and use whenever you require. 
you earn you get the salary in one go but you use it during the time many days many weeks or the month so currency means it remains in the cell and is utilized whenever body requires it and again that is also important step so two points to understand here will be that neither energy is produced in one go nor used in one go it is produced step wise and it is used as per the requirement of the plant body in this context atp adenosine triphosphate energy produced to be converted to atp we have understood atp is energy currency of cell that also we have discussed various energy requirement processes in the body like playing sports in case of human beings or running hunting in case of animals and other processes in the plants like growth or production of new leaves or formation of flowers or fruits all these processes require energy and this energy is utilized bit by bit as per the requirement so eventual energy used and stored is atp plants breathe how they breathe of course breathing involves taking in oxygen and giving out carbon dioxide now in the leaves there are small pores we call them stomata you can see stomata in this slide but they are present only in leaves do you mean to say that only leaves are doing the respiration children at this point we must understand that plants or the trees they do not ha have elaborate respiratory system like you have you have your nose you have trachea lungs alveoli and so many fine structures for respiration in the plants the respiratory part is very simplified stomata are present on leaves and they have guard cells which help in closing or opening of stomata and exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide takes place through these stomata but stomata are present only on leaves in other parts of the plant say twigs or stem or near the bark main stem of the tree we have lenticels which are also small pores and help in exchange of gases so in case of plant the whole body of the plant is involved in respiration because all the living cells in plant normally are exposed to the external environment you may ask that stem is so thick how it is exposed to air the interior part of stem is made up of dead cells for the mechanical support the outer layer just below the bark that is made up of living cell and that is in connection with the air or the outside environment so each cell of the tree is respiring and fulfilling its own needs so children in this particular episode we have discussed about breathing respiration photosynthesis chloroplast chlorophyll and the purpose of respiration not only taking in oxygen but production of energy in the form of atp and conversion of light energy into chemical energy and also we discussed step wise formation of this energy and release of energy slowly as per the requirement of plant with this we come to the end of this session thank you Thank you.